Hello all, I am uh, uh, Dr. Sridhar Maidi Chitti and today I would like to uh, tell you our first topic in our electrical electronic technology lab that is the task one verifying Ohm's law. You know already that if you give certain amount of potential automatically the current will uh, start flowing through that particular element so basically the ohm's law mainly consists of a source as well as a an element so this is the multi sim tool from here i would like to take a battery of say 100 volt supply and I would like to connect a, a resistance of 10 ohm and I would like to see the current that is flowing through the circuit as well as the voltage across the circuit okay so from here if you see here there is uh, the left click I'm showing you place a source so just click on it you can find the component so what I am doing is I want to take a DC power so I am clicking on DC power and making it ok so I am left clicking it again so I have placed a voltage source of V1 with 12 volt supply and if I if I want to change the voltage I double click on it and here there are many items that is coming so I can change the voltage to any other level for instance I want to change it to 100 volts okay so I can change it to 100 volts automatically it changes if, for instance if you want to change the magnitude all the things you can change so the description also can be changed by pressing on the label so I want to take as so this is a DC source I am just keeping it as a DC source and making it OK. OK, so while we are keeping that, you make sure that you are not using any kind of spaces. So if you find any kind of spaces, automatically shows an error. Then you want to take a resistor. So you can directly click the source button. This is the complete database. OK. So in this database you click on the sources you can find the basics diodes everything you can find here so you go to the basics in the basics i want to take only the resistor so if you want to take capacitor if you want to take inductor if you take I mean, different kinds of things are there so i want to take only resistor so i'm placing a value of the resistor here and i'm placing the value resistor here also the resistor here it shown is one kilo ohm okay double click on it if you want to change the value of resistor also you can change okay that's up to you suppose if I want to change a uh, the value of resistors to say 6 kilo ohm, I can change it so this multi sim is a practical uh, way of representation why because if I'm showing some kind of resistor, it shows automatically the fruit print as well as the manufacturer's name as well. So this is like a practical things. Okay. So just make it okay. And place, uh, you can connect by left clicking on it. And you can connect by doing this connection, this way of connection. Now you are able to connect a DC voltage source with with a, a 6 kilo ohm of resistance and if you would like to find out the value of the voltage that is developed across this resistor so automatically we go for voltmeter okay so in the right hand side you can find many things so first thing is multimeter generally I prefer multimeter so this is a multimeter multimeter means you can measure the voltage as well as the current so double click on it so what actually you want to measure you the voltage V whether it is AC or DC so DC 
so if it is ac you can press this one if it is dc you press this one so it has two connections plus and minus that connection is already there so i am connecting the multimeter across the across the resistor how much amount of voltage is there i can find so i, I also want to see how much amount of exactly this this source is giving so right click on the multimeter you can copy and you can paste it again okay so once you paste this and i want to see across the dc source right so the plus plus is connected to positive side and if you connect the reverse polarity automatically reverse will come okay now you can run this this is the button or you can press f5 automatically the circuit went run but it shows error why because the circuit is not grounded if you want to ground the circuit you press again the same button and go to power sources and go to take the ground okay it and close it and make the ground connected so it shows a very important point to you that without connection of the ground you will be not be successful another circuit it shows the circuit is running so you can even find out the amount of voltage it is there so whatever the total voltage you can see so the input voltage is 100 volts and you are the total voltage is getting dropped across the resistor also what you want to find is you may want to find the current that is flowing through that isn't it so at the time what you will do is you add again the paste control v or you can directly paste it you add ammeter in series with it so that it can show you the value of the current double click on it so since this is ammeter press a and this is dc see ammeter is always connected in series voltmeter is always connected in parallel so here x m mm 1 this is x multimeter 1 mm 2 this is mm 2 this is mm 3 this is mm 3 now run the circuit so you can see here whenever you are giving a 100 volts of supply and you are using a resistance of 6 kilo ohms you can you are getting a current of 16.669 milliampere so let us calculate by using our formula i is equal to v by r so let me take a calculator by pressing calc so i go i'm taking a calculator so i is equal to v by r v is 100 volts divided by r is 6 kilo ohm 6 kilo means 1000 6000 so i'm getting 0 0.1666 ampere so it is showing 16 into 66.9 so almost both are equal this is milliampere this is ampere milli means into 10 to the power of minus 3 if you multiply it shows milliampere okay so this is how we can cross check the value also and one more thing suppose if you want to continuously change and continuously track the values you can use instead of the fixed resistor you delete the value of the fixed resistor go to sources in the sources go to basic elements in the basic elements you go to sources basic elements in the basic element click click on the basic element and here you can find the variable variable resistor okay so let me take the variable resistor as say 10 kilo ohms and i am placing the variable resistor 10 kilo ohms here and i am connecting my terminals here and here and this is the variable value okay so here you can observe now i am running my circuit so 100 volts the, the resistance value is almost zero so this much amount of current that is flowing through that what i'm giving i am increasing the resistance by in terms of percentage 10 kilo ohms into its five percent calculate okay so you can you can take your calculator and calculate 
10 kilo ohms into its 5% 5 divided by 100 so 500 ohms i is equal to v by r v is on how much 100 100 by 500 it gives you 0.2 amperes 0.2 amperes or 200 milliamperes both the same so it is not giving our calculated value it is giving 200 amperes that is the calculated value but actual value is not 200 milliamperes actual value is only 199.99989 milliampere so why this error is coming this error may be due to the connection of the multimeter in series of the circuit so in practical when you connect any kind of circuit in series with the system automatically their internal resistance also plays a major role now you can see while i am increasing the value to 10 percent the current automatically changes while I am increasing the value to 15% current changes, 20%, 30% current changes. So if I am going to increase the value to very high amount, automatically the current changes. So you have to be, you have, you can take note and like, as I mentioned in a, my table, cap tablet, tabular column, take the calculator value as well as take this value and draw the graph between them. And even you can see in other way also like if you want to see that in actual function I mean actual oscilloscope the how the waveform is there you can even see you can take the tectronics oscilloscope and you can connect here this tectronics oscilloscope you double click here it has it will show like this there's four channels channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 so you take the channel 1 so let me take the channel 1 across the resistor and let me take the channel 2 across the source so that i'll uh, i'll i'll see the waveform of the sources that is coming so ground is connected to ground so now run the circuit double click on it click it so once you click it automatically it shows the waveform how how the waveform is looks like so so you have switched on here so run it out of setup it shows here this is the channel one is somewhere up so you can change the scale by getting down here or you can increase the scale here so channel one is say 100 volts so this one box is 100 volts so channel one reference is this so it is showing 100 volts here clarity channel 2 is also the showing 100 volts because the same volt is appearing there so because the voltage across resistor is also 100 volts so here i am taking each box as 50 volts even you can reduce the voltage to uh, each box as 100 volts also when you pick another each volt as 100 volts it will show this one so this is how you can uh, i mean you can even see the waveform this is uh, how the experiment need to be carried out.